Okay, so this tree I found out. I was going to cut just some plain old dead ones that I found. I saw this one. This is a dead cedar, but it is so interesting. Look at that. I trimmed off a little bit of the outer branches, but look at that. It is so unique. And here's the other side of it. <laughs> it's just so cool. I don't know what it's going to be yet. And it needs a lot more trimming. So here it is. I ended up trimming off a bunch of the branches. And um, oh, it's got some beautiful green on it. Can't wait for it to dry out. Got it in here with the fan going and the heater. It rained last night, all day yesterday actually. So this thing weighed a ton. It's about probably eight feet tall right now. Probably end up trimming it a little bit. But it's got some really cool caverns in it. And yes, I already checked and dug in there to make sure that uh, nobody was hibernating in there. Because uh, I've had that surprise before where there's a snake hibernating inside of a hollow stump. Uh, it's still solid. I don't know how long it's been dead, but all the cut ends are, are solid. You can see the, there's gonna be lots of nice swirly marks in it. Here's the other side of it. Yeah, the green, I mean, it's, it's a solid piece of cedar yet, even though it, can't really judge a book by its cover, like they say. And that's certainly true of cedar. So, let it dry out for a little while. Pick at it. Take my sander to it. Some, a lot of hand sanding with all those curves. And we'll see what it turns out to be. just doing the first sanding pass with 80 grit and look at how cool this thing looks already wow this is gonna be uh, yet again another one-of-a-kind beautiful decoration piece wow it's almost hard to take that all in look at how cool that is very nice, babe. All right, so I have the other side sanded. I just want to show you what it looks like before sanding. Grooves and a lot of grime and a lot of dirt. But I wanted to show it to you before. And then when I get done, do another picture of it. Okay, so I just sanded um, this side that I just took a picture of earlier. And I'm going to have a lot of hand sanding to do. But it um, it turned out just like I thought. Um, you can see the really deep green of the red and the cream color. And look at that. Pretty cool. A lot of uh, deep grooves in here. A lot of reds popping out already. All right, well, after a couple of days of sanding, uh, I finally got it down to where I'm ready to um, put a coat of varnish on. It um, really cleaned up good. I ended up using a whole variety of tools to get into the creases and crevices. Um, that's really going to look really cool when I put that uh, varnish on there. All that red's going to just pop out. So 
I wanted to show you what it looked like before I put the varnish on. And then uh, as I'm putting it on, we'll take another video. For the ends, for the cut ends, uh, I ended up using a, um, oh, it's right there. I ended up using a, a saw just to kind of cut around those edges there and make them a little bit smoother so they're not so rough and a little bit more finished look. And as far as other tools, well, they're all kind of on the floor there. Uh, of course, my sander, my orbital sander, the poor thing. Ended up using the 220 at the end. There's a screwdriver down there that helped get in some of the crevices. And then to trim the some of those uh, branches, I just used a little sawzall type thing. And then after I had it all done, I vacuumed it all out to make sure all dust is gone. So next up is the varnish. And I'm just going to use what I have for all my other projects. It works out really good. It's wipe-on poly. It's just a clear satin. And um, it's really nice because you don't have to worry about it dripping. And it dries really fast. And I wouldn't normally be doing this out in the shed here. But it's a ridiculous 67 degrees in southern Illinois. Um, I think it's December 17th. So that's why I'm doing it out here. Alright, so I'll show you what it looks like as I'm putting it on. Of course it looks uh, real glossy right now. But it is a satin, so it will... Um, it will lose some of that shine and I usually end up putting two or three coats on and there's no need to sand in between and this uh, wipe on works really good because you don't have to worry about it dripping and running and having real thick streaks but you can tell the difference look at the the wood uh, this red over here is the heart the core and just because of how it grew so funny um, it came on the outside and then it has the the streaks of the the white sapwood too so just a glimpse of what it's going to look like when it gets done okay so I got half of it done let's do a little bit more here and <laughs> I actually just have a sock in my hand. Um, I have bought those lint-free wiping cloths for varnish and uh, I have had lint all over the place and um, they get caught in the cracks and crevices and I have just found it easier just to grab an old sock with a hole in it. Seems to work great. So oh, it's uh, taking the finish really good. Almost done. When I get to the top though, I'm going to have to lay it down and uh, really get inside those grooves good. But it's looking good so far. Alright, so this is how the first coat um, ended up turning out. Turned out pretty good. It always looks more yellow in the video than um, what it actually looks like. So, probably looks very yellow, but it's not. But the um, different colors of the red cedar really pop like I figured they would. Um, again, in that cream color, it's really not that bright yellow. So there's the cream that you see with red cedar and then also the red. You can see the red coming out of the, the ends there. So I ended up having to lay it down um, so that I could get the this top piece um, done. Still have no idea what it's going to be. I was hoping it would kind of tell me as I was working on it, but it hasn't quite yet. So I'll figure something out. But okay, and this is an after look after how many coats, babe? Two of wipe on poly beautiful and we are going to go test it 
in the new house by the fireplace to see if it's gonna fit. Okay, and this is the back side. We just spun it around. Look at how beautiful that thing is. It's hard to believe this thing is just dead in the woods. And the beauty it's gonna bring now. Awesome.